Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Dev's Kingdom. Uh, this is Jacob. Today's topic is Cozy Voice 2.0, which was released not long ago. So basically, if you search for Co Cozy Voice, they made an announcement uh, 2.0 was released. And in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to build that step by step on Colab. Because uh, there are a few corrections we have to make to the README also. So that being said, let's get started. Uh, so if you uh, create a notebook in Colab, um, just uh, say cozy voice and then you basically uh, need to first download this uh, cozy voice repl from the github and cd to the repl and make sure you do the sub module update initial and also recursive then basically you have to install uh, pinini so uh, the documentation says you have to do a conda environment you have to install through the conda forge uh, channel um, but you don't have to do that just do a pip install on pinini to um, 2.1.5 it just uses in pip then install the people requirements uh, from the documentation uh, that mentioned in the readme and do a apt install socks and lib socks dev and after that make sure you also download the models they have listed all the models but you probably want to download um, only this first two um, because um, all the other ones are for a different purpose and they're pretty big you don't have to download everything if you try to download everything it's gonna uh, really takes a long time uh, the um, one that's uh, I'm gonna demo for this tutorial is gonna be Cozy Voice 300M so what this does uh, is uh, basically uh, according to the documentation um, is for zero shots and cross lingual inference so you use that uh, 300 M version for these two things and for um, better performance is cozy voice 2 dash uh, 0.5 B so uh, and then let's continue so after you download those models then make sure uh, you can test those uh, using the CLI so this is actually more clear than the uh, web version they provided uh, because um, I'm going to show you the web UI. Uh, it's in Chinese, so it's hard to understand what is going on here. So to try to use CLI, just uh, create a function or create a file called test cozyvoice.py. Let's put it into the cozy voice uh, folder. And uh, this is actually from the documentation. So just import all the different libraries and packages. Um, so and then um, you have to correct one thing, though, for the cozy voice too uh, in the documentation. Uh, basically, it says, uh, let's scroll down a little bit. So you can see the load uh, onks is false. So that is not valid in the latest uh, version, I believe, because there's an error if you put it in. So you have to remove that. Uh, make sure that you don't have that parent passed in. And then uh, do a construct like this. So, and that's it. We want to test. Um, make sure that uh, you test uh, everything. So um, they provided a lot of the very cool features like uh, zero uh, shot. So you can use the zero shot inferencing function. Um, we can actually see all these results a little bit. And but they actually provide zero shot, cross lingual, and instruct, and also a supervised fine tune. Um, so, but in this demo, uh, we're gonna show. All these three. So if you look at um, the next section, we already tested everything. So uh, we can actually see how each one performs. So if you go to the first one, which is the uh, prompt. So this one. 收到好友从远方寄来的生日礼物，那份意外的惊喜与深深的祝福，让我心中充满了甜蜜的快乐，笑容如花儿般绽放。So this is actually the uh, first one, which is the inference zero shot. So, and basically they have this uh, wave prompt. So this prompt goes the same with this um, text. So basically they use this prompt and this text as a reference for the zero shot and they generate that uh, sound for this text. So this was zero shot. If you look at uh, this uh, original prompt, Let's try that again. Oh, actually, 
I need to stop the live UI version first because it's in uh, collab. So let's uh, do that. Let's stop that first. Let's stop the live UI first. But before we do that, let's take a quick look. So basically, this is the web UI. And you can see that's EBF5, and you can see that it's actually EBF5. So basically, what this does is the same as CLI, but uh, they have in Chinese. So to explain that, basically, the first one is the supervised uh, fine tuning. So, and the second one is for the zero shot. And the third one is multilingual. The fourth one is for instruct, which is natural language control. And you can also pick the uh, different voice, like the Chinese uh, lady or Chinese uh, male, and also Japanese male, uh, Quantumese uh, female, so stuff like that. And then this is basically you upload this voice and whatever voice you want to do. So in this one, we basically uploaded the default prompt you can see in the uh, collab. So basically we uploaded this um, original prompt sound this uh, zero shot prompt. So we upload with that one. So you can use this sound and click the uh, multilingual so you, and click generate. You can see this sound convert in here using the text this specified in here. So it's a little bit complicated, but that's how it works. So this is the input, uh, the type of the uh, inferencing you want to choose, the original sound and the text of the prompt and also instruct prompt. But you have to use different models if you want to use these two uh, fields. So the easiest way to test using Web UI is just doing uh, the multilingual one. So, and that's for the Web UI. So let's go back to the CLI. So uh, we just stop the Web UI. And then for the CLI, uh, we just basically want to test out uh, the different uh, inference sound. So the first one, let's uh, just try it out. So you can see that, uh, so the, the original prompt. And then that goes to the text in here. So, um, and then basically uh, you can see this uh, generated uh, sound as earlier uh, or we tested. So the second one, let's try the second one is fine grain control. So this is for the cross link rule. So you can see they do not have the text. So uh, and they only have this um, sound, so which is referenced in here. Only has the sound, so you can see uh, how it uh, performs. So let's go to the uh, this one, fine grain control. In the narrative of that story, he suddenly You can see they actually. Uh, it's really cool because they can actually read the uh, sort of like the prompt for uh, motions. So this laughter, so they did laugh. Um, so which is very cool. And you can see that um, basically they do use cross link rule and then and the tags and also the motions. So basically like instruct. So super cool. The third one basically is for the instruct, and uh, they actually can prompt this. Um, model to let them use a different dialect. So this is a different dialect in, uh, in Chinese, I believe. So then uh, you basically use that uh, prompt to instruct the model to use a different sound or a different dialect to speak instead of the original sound. So let's hear that out. So let's see this instruct, which is super cool. Let's uh, hear that. So See, that's a, that's a different dialect. So, which is very, very cool. We can actually uh, use a different uh, prompt or the different layer of prompt to let the uh, model to read this uh, with a layer of dialect on top of the sound. So, Super cool. So that's how we actually test everything uh, on Collab for Cozy Voice 2.0. It's a very cool model. So last but not the least. Um, so if you want to use the web UI, as I mentioned earlier, just do ngrok. So basically create a function to run batch command within Python. And also uh, just install ngrok dependencies. Then you basically put in ngrok token here. And then basically point your uh, ngrok public URL and to the local 50,000. After that, um, you can actually test the web UI here.
so but we already stopped it earlier so we cannot uh, run that right now but just do that so you will test it on the web ui uh, and then uh, if you want to um, test using the web server uh, or the api server they also have that option which is super super cool you just go to this um, folder which is runtime python fast api so then uh, basically you have to uh, just do a python3 server.py if you want to use fast api specified port and also the model directory but the, i think the default should be model pre-trained model instead of inc uh, and then just run this command you'll be spin up the api server and if you want to use the client to test it just do a python3 client and also uh, specify the mode uh, the uh, mode you want to test also you need to specify the host so just check out this uh, Python file. You should be able to find all the different uh, options you can use. Um, so that being said, hopefully this is helpful. If you do like this video, please subscribe, like or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. See you in the next one.